think it started from passion, mm -hmm. basically. Um, I came to Australia when I was 19, did every job under the sun, working for banks, um, working for removalists, doing all sorts of stuff like that. Um, it was a, a, a good friend of mine said, follow your dreams, follow your passion. So we decided to look at what I enjoy doing, turn it into a business. So I just right, it was kind of born. What did you find the most challenging part about starting up your own business? Um, I think the most challenging thing is having self-motivation. Get up every day, you've got to mm. push yourself to get up, you know, and actually go to work and, and do the work you need to do to move this business forward. A self-sacrifice, get yourself in a position where you can, you know, get focused and just mm. get on with it. So you need to be very, very self-disciplined you know, to, uh, to push the business forward. What, what advice would you give to someone who's in high school, still in a position as you, unsure what they want to do with their career-wise, what advice would you give them? Um, look into your passions, look what you, into, what you enjoy to do. Take some time out and really mm -hmm. sit and think about what you want to do, where you want to be, if you want to follow a career, if you want to actually work for yourself, mm -hmm. you know. Um, a good starting point if you want to work for yourself is work for a, you know, a startup company get in there, um, learn, learn the basics, learn the ropes, mm -hmm. and take, you know, take your passion and apply it to a new company. Um, but moving forward from that, definitely, I always look at the philosophy of um, you are who you hang around with. Mm -hmm. That's a big factor in business. If you associate with success, successful people, you'll be successful too, so I think that's really important. Yep. Get a big client to work with you as soon as possible. Then you can use them as your, your backbone and your credibility. Mm. It's the same for everything you do. You know, How did you find like the motivation or the like the the, the drive? Yeah, the drive to just go there and be like, I'm not taking no for yeah, an answer. Yeah, I'm, I'm never really content with what I'm doing. Yeah, you know, even though if I'm working with big clients, I'm always kind of striving for bigger and better. Mm -hmm. But um, it's to get the company to the best it can be. I think mm -hmm. you know, I don't like to be told no to. So why do you think network networking is such an important thing for a business? Um, networking, I just the people you meet mm -hmm. and you can associate with people and relate. You need people to help you in business. So the more people you've got around you, the better. Um, you know, go to networking events. How do you get yourself to networking events? Um, How do you... there's, there's Facebook groups, yeah. you know, online, you can, you can find networking uh, meets pretty much in any city in the world now, mm -hmm. so I definitely recommend going to networking meets. Uh, what what skills do you think you need, or you needed when you first started your business? Um, I think the number one skill you need for any business is sales experience. Mm -hmm. So sales, knowing how to communicate with people, building rapport, generally selling anything, no matter what business you're in, if you're selling a video, if you're selling a bicycle, if you, you know, everything sales related. Who is the most? exciting person you've ever sold a bike to? Um, that would be Justin Theroux, mm -hmm. if you know who he is. Yes, yep. Yeah. Um, he walked in the shop off the street, off Brunswick Street, um, walked in the shop, all our staff were like <laughs> looking over thinking that's Justin Theroux and, and he bought a bike and he took it back to New York that night, mm -hmm. so he was filming. Wow. He was filming for HBO in Melbourne at the time. Mm -hmm. Two days later there's photographs of Justin Theroux all over New York on that bike. Oh my God, so yeah, it's awesome. great. It was with Jennifer Anderson at the time. Exactly. <laughs> yeah.